Hey, what's up, everybody? Subscribers, welcome back. First timers, glad you showed up. I, uh, I hope you find value in the video. Um, you know, check out some of my other ones if you like them. Subscribe if you like. And uh, it always makes me feel good. It's cool. Um, it's this is the open letter to Crytac, and um, I I hope y'all are watching. Like I hope Crytac, the the employees there are watching. Um, if you know a regular employee catches this, send it up to your boss. If a boss catches it, awesome. Like <clears throat> I really hope y'all are watching specifically because I want in. Right. Um, I think y'all's company is really great. Um, your your mission. Um, you know, community innovation and excellence, like, um, those are, those are some pretty important things. Um, and I think that y'all set a bar that's, that's exciting and, uh, it's pretty neat. You know, I've had a lot of people ask me about Crytax products over time. And, uh, this video was sparked by a question that I got here on the channel about whether or not someone could fit a gate Titan MOSFET into their Crytac gearbox. And it led me to think a number of things, but, um, <clears throat> before I get to them, um, I did want to kind of point out that I think there are reasons to care about this video and what, uh, what I'm going to be talking about. Um, you know, I haven't, <clears throat> I haven't built 10,000 guns in my life, right? I've not, uh, I've not necessarily been teching in the industry since the beginning, but, um, I did get a very, very good taste of what kids are interested in and what they like. Uh, I worked at a CQB field where I got to meet all walks of life, um, anywhere from young kids to adults and, um, anywhere from zero experience to building their own guns, uh, kind of, uh, kind of consumers. And the, the most unanimous thing, well, two things that everybody wanted were kid or adult, whoever person goes into the field, they're having a normal game. Maybe they're, you know, rental, maybe, uh, maybe they brought their own gun, whatever. Well, then someone walks in with a gun, like a polar star with that trigger response that pop, 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 and they just, they immediately would come to the tag and be like, how do I get that? How do I do that? And the other one is accuracy. And they're like, man, I can't hit the broad side of an elephant, you know, broad side of a barn, nothing. Well, and this is in a CQB field and people are complaining about accuracy. And I mean, w with several guns, I mean, for good reason. Um, now, I'm going to offer some critiques that I think, um, I think are worth considering. Um, I also, like I said, you know, I, I would hope... <sighs> I, I want y'all to reach out to me. I would, I would be just thrilled uh, beyond measure if I heard back from Crytac and even more so if we could start a discussion of how I might be able to contribute and become a part of Crytac. I would really love that. Um, but, you know, when you start talking about critiques and, well, why didn't y'all do this? How about that? Um, you know, all of it's great, but I'll never forget you know, I'll never forget what one of my bosses in a, uh, you know, in the past told me, he said, we'll put it on a napkin, meaning, well, <laughs> the math's got to work or we're not doing it. So I started thinking about it. I was like, okay, well, how much are people paying for guns? You know, probably, well, I don't know, anywhere from 140, 150 to 200, maybe $300. Okay. And then, you know, maybe they buy a gun that's worth 150, $200 and then they put anywhere from a hundred to $400 in upgrades on it. All right. And this, this is the, this is the mindset, right? You know, these, these, these were the things that I experienced when I was uh, trying to make it as a tech was like, you know, people would, uh, they would buy a gun and then want to spend, they would budget three, $400 and maybe it was a two, $300 gun in the first place, you know? And so here's what I'm thinking is like, well, golly, like that's a lot of money. Um, and so, and all just so that they can have that similar experience, the customer experience could be similar to, uh, you know, um, a really accurate polar star. Now I'm not a fan of gas guns. Um, and not necessarily because of, 
Well, it's for a number of reasons, and they're not within the scope of the of the video, so I'm just not going to talk about it. But um, you know, part of that has part of that feeling has led me to really think critically about what kinds of upgrades AEGs need to be competitive in the market. Um, and I think that Crytek, um, y'all bring the kind of quality that y'all bring the kind of quality and attention to detail that that you know if implemented properly could just dominate the market and i think gaskins would um they've gained popularity but you know like i said with these critiques i think it would make just a, a massive difference um and you know when you start talking about well it might cost three four hundred dollars to buy this gun but once you get these upgrades then you know you're never gonna have to worry about upgrading it again it's done um <clears throat> Um, you know, and then you could also offer a Crytac performance line, which is just the in, the internal parts. I, I think you'll do sell the just the repair parts and everything, but you know that's kind of a an aside. But anyway, so I you know I want to preface it by saying I do have critiques, and I'm not going to hold back because I think it's important to communicate freely about you know how people really feel and what my experience was as a tech and uh, as a player and as a builder on my own, but. I want to emphasize that despite the fact that I'm critiquing, um, you know, perhaps harshly and not holding back, um, I want to emphasize the overwhelming positivity of the message that I'm trying to, to deliver. That is that um, your AGs are the bond.com. And it, I don't believe that it would take an impossible amount of effort to uh, implement the kind of changes that would further set the bar. Uh, above everybody else okay so um positivity that's, that's the main thing um you know the cons right where where have y'all fallen short where has crytac fallen short well i'm gonna list first detail later you, aoe and a plastic piston mosfet and the bucking okay um <clears throat> Angle of engagement is as old a problem as AEGs. Okay, so it's y'all spent a lot of money clearly um, on engineering the product and making the most out of it, but well, frankly, to to put it to put it the way my heart says it, I think it was negligent to um, not correct AOE off the bat and to uh, not imp like put in a full metal rack piston. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Like when your build quality is so high everywhere else, like I don't know why you would do that. That's, that's outrageous. And I mean, that's a simple, that's a simple fix. You just literally elongate the piston and then, you know, put in a metal rack. Now, I understand that, that, oh man, well, if it's molded, then it means a whole new mold and then this and then that, but I just, golly, y'all, like, I I could not help but be disappointed when I saw that. Um, <clears throat> the next thing is a MOSFET. You put one in, but you put in old technology, you implement it, you put it into the gearbox itself, which I don't totally agree with. And then um, the main thing is you didn't put in a computerized one, and that's just where the market is. Um, it's so easy and this is kind of where this question walked me down this path of thought it was like you know i push a gate titan or gate wharf at pretty hard because the pre-cocking um <clears throat> it it makes a difference in performance for a cost so little that is again negligent to ignore um and then the final one the bucking i mean like True hop. I don't know if it's like getting all shiny or whatever. Can't read it, but they make a bucking that essentially has an R hop patch that's molded into the bucking. And y'all's bucking is like a speed bump, and <clears throat> it's bad. It just it's it's not good. Now your your gun might still be accurate, but it's guaranteed not as accurate as you know even a rental with this put in it, right? Um, specifically because you can you can run heavier weight BBs without the the uh, the problems of the weight, you know, um, and that's that's a whole 
another technical conversation, like why it is that way. Um, there's a lot of detail that goes into that, but, um, I, I talked earlier about polar star, right? That feeling of, Oh my gosh, gas gun, pre-cocking. Okay. That brings the AG straight back into relevance. The AOE, I mean, that's just a durability thing. Like, I mean, as easy it is as it would be to implement. Um, and then the bucking makes, I mean, you can run 0.3s on 350 feet per second and have accuracy like far surpassing most, oh man, just out of this world. Like it, it, if you've never experienced a gun that's R hopped, it's, it is a sight to behold. <laughs> it's even more to, more fun to shoot, you know? Um, so anyway, that's, that's about all I have to say about it. Um, but like I said in the beginning, you know, I would just absolutely love to get to be a part of what y'all are doing there at Crytac. Um, <clears throat> I think that, you know, the, the question the gentleman asked was, you know, specifically whether or not the MOSFET would fit in the gearbox. I don't know. I, it might, I've, I've not tried it. Um, but for what it's worth, I mean, and this is an aside just for my viewer, uh, but, you know, I think you can use like a Warfet and that will, uh, I, I think that one still has all the functionality, but it doesn't replace the trigger contacts. It's rather a chip that sits on the outside of the gearbox. And so, you know, if that's what you want with your gun right now, you could do that. But um, anyway, yeah, I mean, those things, it would, it would address exactly the customer experience that they're looking for. You know, when these kids come in and they, like they, you know, they have money, they're, they're ready to buy. Right. You know, uh, we're talking about building a customer base, the community and, and um, addressing innovation and excellence and every, everything like you guys go and put those upgrades in there, make it factory specifically durability, pre cocking and the bucking like that. It will make it such that someone can spend three or $400 on your gun and have a gun that has all the performance that it needs. It's done. They can be competitive right against a, you know, a gas gun. Um, and that leaves it so that now instead of having to spend three, $400 on upgrades, they can just buy another one of your guns. Right. Um, and then on top of that, I mean, it just, you know, what it would do towards the, the value of it. Like, Oh my gosh, like, you would shut down the market. Everything would be Crytek. Airsoft would be Crytek. <laughs> um, anyway, I hope to hear back from Crytek. I think that would just, like I said, I would be, I would be beyond myself uh, with excitement. But you know, um, even if I don't, I hope that this video helps out my uh, my viewers and the, the people who've stumbled upon it. I hope that y'all found some uh, found some value out of it. Take care.